So AI, animation, and how does that all go together? And what does that mean for me as an animator that wants to actually kind of like get into this industry, right? Does that mean that my career is over? Does that mean that AI is gonna take over my job and I will no longer be able to actually get into animation, right? All of those questions is something that I've been thinking about is something that I'm pretty sure a lot of you have been thinking about. Because after all, if AI can create pictures and they also can create text, it's only a small step until it can create animation, right? Or is it? In this video, I wanna talk about exactly that. Where I think things are heading for us animators in this new age that is coming, how does that all pan out for us? Humble animators that want to get into this industry and be creative and make the most out of it, right? So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so welcome to another video. I hope you guys are doing great. My name is Harvey Newman and I've been working in video games for over 20 years now and I love it with a passion and I like to share my passion with for animation here in this channel with all of you. I have learned a lot of things over the years and one of the things that experience tells me is that animators are going nowhere. So if this is what you came to see, definitely know that like animation and animators are going to stay here. And the reason why I'm saying this is because historically, things have been always set for animation to just disappear into ether, right? One of the questions that I got on my last laugh chat, it was about AI and what does that mean for us animators, right? And I think that there's a couple of things or two or three things that are gonna happen going forward. And I do think that this actually ends up being a positive more than a negative for us. I'm gonna also talk a little bit about like the software and what's out there that can already use AI for animation. So you guys can maybe give it a try and kind of like get to your own conclusions yourself. Now, the very first thing that I need to say is that historically, um, animation has always been like, this is going to be the end of animation. Now, when Walt Disney started to the animation, it lasted for a long, long time, right? The traditional hand-drawn animation. Towards the end of the 90s, Toy Story came out, Pixar was born, and because of it, everybody that was a 2D animator thought that very much this was basically the end of animation as we know it. And because of computers, we fully thought that it was only a matter of time until everything was automated, right? And they, this is not true to this day. We still need to actually be there with a mouse and keyboard, setting up every single frame and basically make it our own. So now that is no longer true. The second thing that I've seen over the years is mocap. So when mocap came along, all nice and dandy, everybody thought if I can get in a suit and actually act out my action and then put it in a computer, then what is the use of the animator? Because I'm already doing the action that I wanna see in game. So I'm just gonna like do that action, put it in the computer, and then what's gonna come out of the other side is basically assets ready for me to actually do my thing. And once again, that is not true because both in film, games, and VFX, we still need an animator to go through that data and clean it up and make sure that the data conforms to whatever we want to do in the end, right? So Lord of the Rings is the big example. When people saw Gollum, everybody thought this was 100% just the actor doing his thing and there was no animator in between. While in reality, there was a battalion of animators behind the scenes cleaning up all this action and making sure that the acting was as true as when the actor did it. And for that, there's a lot of finesse and a lot of cleaning up that is necessary. So once again, mocap didn't actually eradicate the animator mocap actually made more jobs for animators out there just like 3d did there was 2d animation now there's 3d animation now the two of them can coexist same thing with mocap there's hand key animators there's mocap animators and the two of them can coexist so things got expanded the more tech has evolved and i think ai is this new frontier that is going to kind of like do the same thing for us right so on a more top level I think that AI is here to really makes us appreciate how awesome humans are, right? I think that we are here and we do things by hand. And this sense of handmade is very important nowadays. If you look at it outside of the AI aspect, when something is built by a machine somewhere at a very, very high volume, it doesn't really feel as special as somebody making this one thing by hand, right? You know there was a you know a craftsman like actually making this thing and it took time and it took love and it took passion for the craftsman to create this one bowl made of wood, let's say. 
And then there's a machine that takes two seconds to create this ball of wood and can create infinite amounts of replicas of the same thing. Immediately, no matter who you are, you immediately not only pay more money for the one that actually was made by hand, but also you appreciate it so much more. So I think AI is going to do the same thing no matter where you actually see it, no matter if it's film, no matter if it's like uh, images or 2D art or whatever it is, I think it's just gonna make you appreciate much more the artwork that comes from somebody that actually spent time doing it from beginning to end, right? So in animation, right now, we have one piece of software called Cascador, and Cascador is a brilliant piece of software, and I think the software is right in its infancy in a way, but I think it's giving us a lot of what animation can actually be in the future with AI, because a lot of the interpolation of the animation is happening automatically in Cascador. So you have a pose here, and you have a pose over there, and you basically have a last pose on the floor. Cascador knows that there was a distance that was actually reached from here to here, he kind of makes calculations and he knows to give you the little settle, right? And that he feels to me like magic. I haven't used it much, but I know that is really amazing. I think that AI will basically speed up our workflows, just like whenever you're writing a piece of document and you want AI to kind of like proofread it and make sure that it's written correctly and in the most professional way possible, but you still have to go in and tweak it and make it better. AI for animation is gonna be the same thing. Maybe your interpolations are, are being made by AI and now they are better than Maya. Remember, I keep saying that Maya as a, a in-betweener is the worst in-betweener possible because it's just giving you a linear motion in between. So maybe now with AI, we actually get better interpolation. We have something more convincing, something that actually favors some, uh, some pose, something that actually gives you a little bit more pizzazz, but it's too much or too little and you still have to go in and tweak it. So the main poses are what makes the animation. So I don't think that actually is gonna, ever gonna change because you as the creative, you as the human, you as the person that actually wants to see something outside the box that hasn't been created yet, you need to actually create those main poses. But what happens in between those poses, that is information that perhaps AI can aid you to make those animations. And if that's true, then it means that perhaps you can become an animator that animates a little bit faster and a bit more efficient than then, actually that means that it's beneficial for everybody, both the customer and also you as an animator, because you feel like you can animate faster. So all of these things is just me assuming this is how it's going to be in the future, but it surely seems so. Looking at the tools that are out there between chat GPT and now with Bing having chat GPT and Google having Bard and the things they are trying to do in terms of efficiency and making work a bit more efficient and helping people actually do the best work possible. That is one side. Cascador being the only piece of software, that is another side. And I think when you combine them both, you're gonna get a much more efficient anima animator that can create many more animations because of AI. And if that's the future, I kind of dig it, I have to say. I'm not so scared about it. I really think that AI can only create content based on what's there. It cannot create something that hasn't existed before. And this is where humans come through and do it. Right? So having that human touch, having that human element is always going to be part of AI. I think we all like to actually have something that is artistic and is human and basically connects with us at a very deep level. And animation has a lot of those notes, right? The acting, the thinking, the personality, how the people connect with one another, all of those things require a sense and a touch from a human to actually get them just right. So I do think AI has a great future. I think AI is going to is here to stay. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere anytime soon. So I'm really excited to see how it evolves and fingers crossed is gonna be for the positive and not for the negative where you just think that you press a button and then animation is done and it's perfect. And why should we use animators anymore? I don't think we're gonna go that route, but fingers crossed, you know. And that is basically what I think about AI. I just thought I would share with you guys because after all, there's a lot of chatter out there, but it's not enough about animation and AI combined, right? So if this was useful to you in any way, comment down below. Let me know what you think about AI. Let me know what are your thoughts, your concerns, because uh, maybe I'm missing some elements of this whole conversation that perhaps we can follow through in a future video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and follow through so you can get more content like this. Thanks to all my Patreon subscribers 
And as always, see you on the next one. Stay well, stay safe. Peace.